we're getting started bright and early today. It's not even 5 o'clock yet. The sun's just starting to come up. Um, I gotta say, so far, it's been a really pleasant summer here. We've had rainy nights, beautiful sunny days. Uh, I can't complain. It's been perfect for growing crops and getting things done. Now, we do have to feed these sheep, so let's get on that. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're still going to use the bales. We're going to leave the loose stuff for later. And right now we're going to be using the bales still. So that is the plan. There we go. Back up on that. Let's see here. Let's see if we can't get that top one. That looks like that sheep wants that bell too, so. It's one of them anyway. There we go. We got that. And he just didn't want to get out of the way, did he? Okay. Let's get this over to the feed trough. I can see past the truck here. Yeah, there we go. A little tight. A little tight, but we got it. <laughs> okay. There we go. That should be enough. Sheep are doing fantastic, as you can see. Drop that off. Shut that off. And, whoop, probably should shut the lights off that. We don't want to ruin the battery, do we? Now, what we're going to do today, as you can see, I got the JCB all set up for mowing. And we're going to mow the sheep pasture over there. And we're going to mow our grass field here again. And this time we're going to collect all that grass and we're going to put it in our silage bunkers over there because I'm serious about getting cows. Um, right now the money isn't great <laughs> for cows, but uh, nonetheless, we are going to get cows. Oh, got to watch that big bump. Man, I really got to remember to fix that. That bump is ridiculous. So, I know it seems like we've been doing a lot of mowing lately, but that's really the only thing we have going on at the moment. That is just farm life. Shut that. So I have all the room to mow in here. And like I say, pretty sure next year, um, I'm going to move the sheep here so I think we'll start over here in this corner get these mowers unfolded And 
and away we go. finish up this here and uh, what I normally would do is go right to work on the other field to get in that mode but I really don't know how fast this is going to dry out being that it's summer and it's it's a pretty dry day as it is and I don't want any of this grass to dry on me So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park this, and I think I'm going to grab the New Holland. We're going to grab the windrower, and uh, we're going to windrow this up and collect it right away. And then we'll get to work cutting this field. I believe that is the ideal thing to do. So we're going to have to take the plow off that because after I mow this, uh, I'm going to plow this up today and we're going to replant it and fertilize it. So we'll drop the plow off and grow get the wind drawer. I always forget where I put these things. The wind drawer is... I want to say it's over in this smoker silo over here. Yep, there it is. So we bought this new tractor, so we might as well get some work out of it. When I get the money, I'm going to put a front loader attacher on this, and I don't know, I may, I may get rid of the attacher that we have for the JCB. I'm not sure yet. That is a possibility, though. Try to avoid that big bump if we can. There we go. Back in here, close this gate again because this will be right in our way. And on to job number two of the day. I think I'll start up in this corner up here and work our way down.
Okay. <laughs> well, that uh, that took a lot longer than I thought for some reason, and uh, I don't really know why. Cause, I mean, this is a pretty big field, and honestly, the other field is a pretty good sized one as well. So I really don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but yeah, we got that done. So I have no idea if we're gonna be able to get the other field done today because like I said I really don't want to have any of this dry out and I really don't want to be doing this after dark for the simple reason uh, I don't have any lights over here so doing any work in the dark is kind of difficult so we're just going to take the New Holland over and we're going to pick up the Lindner and all those little pieces that we missed, especially the ones that are around the telephone poles, I'm not going to worry about because the Linder should be able to pick all those up. So we'll just park this in the bay next to it here. Shut that down. And hop into Linder. So this should give us a uh, pretty decent amount of grass to make silage for when we get our cows. Now I don't know when we're going to get the cows. Um, quite possibly when we start selling wool we might be able to use that money to put towards our cows. We'll have to wait and see. I'm definitely not going to sell the silage to get cows, so. Alright. How about and close this gate one more time? <laughs> well, actually, no, yeah, this should be the last time I have to close the gate. And I think I may just start in the upper corner of the field. So, so far on the new farm, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. Um, crops are growing, the, the animals are, are all doing well, and like I say, it may seem like, you know, we're doing a lot of the same thing, and we are, we are, I, I'm not going to lie, but uh, once everything picks up a little more, we'll have more to do. I have no idea what the autumn... And winter are going to bring around here. Um, I don't know what the weather is going to be like. Or anything like that. So we'll have to just wait and see. As I said before, uh, in the summer so far, it's been raining overnights. And it's been beautiful during the day. So that's, uh, that's a huge plus right there. There's some really good grass swaths here. Pretty, uh... Pretty thick and full. We're already almost full, so... Okay, that was quick, so... Let's offload this one, and, uh... Yeah, this is probably going to be the rest of our afternoon, guys.
right. So it's going on at 7.30. This is taking a long time. I don't want this to dry. I don't want to be doing this into the night. So I put a call into the store, and we're going to rent a, uh, a loading wagon. They're going to deliver it to us, and they're just going to put it on our, our store tab. So that's going to be very useful. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that... Now, what am I doing? I get this piece over here. So, hopefully that comes pretty soon. Um, this linder is great, but it just doesn't hold enough. And uh, we got a lot to get done. And I'm missing a bunch here. That's all right. Luckily, the store is not that far away, so it shouldn't take them too long to get it here. Ah, there it is. It's here. Perfect. I'll offload this, grab the JCB. And huh, finish this job with that beast there, so. We're getting some pretty decent amounts of silage, though. Well, you know what I mean. It will be silage. It will be silage. Okay, we'll just park the linder over there. Let's drop off the mowers. Grab that loading wagon and get to work. Let's put some lights on, shall we? Ah. This thing is much bigger. Now we should do this in no time, I'm hoping. Shouldn't have an issue with this at all. Okay, so this is rough. Um, I can't see anything. I can't see the swaths. Um... Yeah, I just, I can't see. Oh. <laughs> so, what I think I'm going to do is probably dump this last one, and we're going to call it a day, and continue on tomorrow and hope that that grass didn't dry, which, uh, I don't know. I don't have a good feeling that the grass isn't going to dry. But unfortunately, <laughs> I cannot see anything.
So, I think I'm going to go get some shut eye. And look, I can't even find the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get some shut eye. And uh, we're going to try this again. There's no guarantee that. Um, there's no guarantee that this is going to be grass in the morning, but let's hope it is, shall we? Oh, okay, so we overslept a little bit. <laughs> it's going on 7 now. And, uh... I'm hoping our grass didn't dry out. Not too confident that maybe it didn't. Um, well, no, it looks... It's still grass. It, it is still grass, so... That is, that is good. So let's get the rest of this done. So we just have that one little strip left to do on that field. Um, that's not going to be hard to do. Maybe I'll just pick that up with the linder. No sense of bringing this all the way back over there. Um, I feel like this is probably a good way to wrap up this episode. Uh, if I can figure out how to back this up. <laughs> um, I want to mow that other field, but I'm going to do that off camera. I feel like that we've seen enough grass cutting and collecting uh, in this episode to last us quite a while. Although, like I say, you know, that's just, that's just kind of where we're at. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. And it looks like we got this stuck here somehow. Let's just try to unload it. It's, it's definitely stuck in there. Definitely stuck. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I can't figure out what it's stuck on, though. Let's disconnect it. And maybe reconnect. There we go. Um, I still need to offload this. So what we really need to do is we need to level that out. And I will do that. But like I said, guys, I think that's where we're going to end this video. Um, I'm going to mow that grass there. And I'm going to plow this field up. 
and I'm gonna replant grass or you know what I may even plant alfalfa in this field I'm not sure yet but uh, I'm definitely gonna do something with it and I'm not gonna put any more of this I'm not gonna put this grass in that silage pit over there I'm gonna fill up the other one with it and I really think I'm gonna just turn this into silage and possibly sell this off so with that being said guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did, hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I would surely appreciate it. All right, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.